رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين عما بعد فعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله وعلى عليك وصحابك يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله وعلى عليك وصحابك يا نور الله سيدنا إمام سخابي رحمة الله عليه نريز that the noble prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم stated the one who sends salat upon me once Allah عز وجل showers ten blessings upon him him. And the one who sends salat upon me ten times, Allah Azza wa Jalla shows a hundred blessings upon him. And the one who sends salat upon me a hundred times, Allah Azza wa Jalla inscribes both of between both of his eyes that this person is exempted from hip. hip- hypocrisy and the fires of hell and on the day of judgment he will place him with martyrs sallu ala al-habib sallallahu alayhi wasallam dear viewers of money channel today we engage ourselves to make efforts to better our future we strive to gather various sources of comforts we toil to increase our bank balance we try to flourish our business and we make so many schemes in order to attain worldly comforts worldly comforts for the future so so that somewhere our worldly morrow may prosper but regretfully we are absolutely remiss in bettering our afterlife numerous careless people embrace death while toiling for even better worldly life thus instead of celebrating the cheating of a bright future they are lowered into the dark grave to be engaged in such for for me better a better life in this world to be neglectful in thinking about and in preparing for the afterlife and was accounting for past deeds not making efforts to avoid sins and firm, firmly de- determining to do good deeds in is nothing but real loss a wise person who is one who focuses the afterlife reforms himself by holding his nafs severely accountable he gets his sins and fears from poor consequences of sins just as our saints have done and hujjatul islam imam muhammad ghazali rahmatullah alayhi and raised the once sayyidina ibn as-sima rahmatullah alayhi was performing self accountability calculated his age and he came out to be 60 years after multiplying his age by 12 he resulted in 720 months he then multiplied this 720 months by 30 the result was 21 21600 one days the number of days of his blessed life that he said to himself if i have committed one sin in a day i have committed 21600 sins to the present day most probably i have committed up to 1000 sins in a day saying this he started trembling with the fear of allah azza wa jalla that at once he rahmatullah alayhi screamed and fell down on the floor when checked he saw and to have been departed from this world these seven brothers and viewers on the channel contemplate deeply about how our noble saints rahimullah salam did fikr in medina in order to reform their nafs how they would perform accountability for it and even being engaged in doing good deeds they would consider themselves as sinners and would always fear allah azza wa jalla some of them had so much intense fear of allah azza wa jalla that their souls would depart but unfortunately we are badly engaged in debt and sins neither we have feelings of regret nor we feel fear of aftermath our saints they wake at night fast in abundance perform good deeds excessively but would still assume themselves guilty and would weep persistently with the fear of allah azza wa jalla They spend their nights constantly crying, wiping away the sleep from their eyes. They consider themselves sinners at dawn and lower in deeds than everybody else. Once Sayyidina Utba Ghulam, rahmatullah alayhi, started shivering while passing by a house and suffered perspiration. When people inquired, he replied, This is the place where I committed a sin in my childhood. Allah has brought mercy upon him and forgive us for their sake. Salu lil habibs. It has been reported that a sin got committed by Sayyidina Hasan Basri rahmatullah alayhi in his childhood whenever he got a new dress sold he would write that sin on his collar often he would cry so much looking at it, looking at it that he would faint dear some brothers of viewers on money channel did you notice our noble saints rahimullah salam would remember sins of their childhood and because of it would fear Allah would do so much and on the other hand it was It is we ill-fated adults who forget even those sins that we commit deliberately but we remember our flawed virtues and feel proud about them. Salu lil habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. 
Dear Samming Brothers and viewers of Money Channel, a wise person is one who obtains the fortune of performing good deeds and do not remember them. And if sins are committed, he remembers them. And in order to reform himself, he performs self-accountability strictly. Upon decreasing good deeds, he even disciplines himself and frightens himself of the wrath and rage of Allah Azzawajal every moment. This has been the practice of our saints. Hence, Amir al-Mu'mineen, Sayyidina Umar al-Farooq, who performed self-accountability on a daily basis. And when night would come, he would whip himself on his feet, asking himself, asking himself, tell me what you did today. Allah has have mercy upon him, forgive us for this sake. Amin, John, be Rami. Alhamdulillah, Azawajal, Sunnah of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is taught and learned in the Madani environment of Dafti Islami, international non-political propagation of Muhammad Quran and Sunnah. Speaking of Ijtima every Thursday, holding a Ghoshif. It is money request that you participate in Ijtima and try and spend the night. Make it a habit to travel with the lovers of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Madani Kafir and once you fikr Madina, fill in your Madani Namad card daily and hand it into your errors in Madar in the first 10 days of the new Islamic month. Inshallah, Azzawajal, with the blessing of this, we start acting upon the Sunnah of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, hated for sins and we safeguard our Iman. Inshallah, Azzawajal, every Islamic brother should make the intention, the time is right to rectify myself and the people of the whole world. Inshallah, Azzawajal, to rectify ourselves, we act upon the Madani Namad. And to rectify the people of the whole world travel in the money coffee, inshallah, as a witcher. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, was salat was salam wa ala Sayyidil Musaleen, Amma Bad, Faudu Billahi min a shaitan and regime, Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim. My dear Islam brothers, please repeat after me. Was salat was salam wa alayka ya Rasulallah. وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا حبيب الله والصلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله The sovereign of Medina صلى الله تعالى عليه وسلم has stated O oh people, indeed the person to receive prompt relief from the anxieties and accountability on a day of judgment will be the one who would have recited the rood upon me in abundance in this world. Salu ala al-Habib, Muhammad. Hujatul Islam, Sayyidina Imam Muhammad Ghazali rahmatullah alayhi narrated in Mukashafatul Kulub that the Prophet Sayyidina Yaqub alayhi salam was friends with the angel of death Sayyidina Israel alayhi salam. Once when the angel of death Sayyidina Israel alayhi salam came, Sayyidina Yaqub alayhi salam asked him, Have you come just to visit me or to take my soul? He replied, To meet you. Sayyidina Yaqub alayhi salam then requested, Before you come to take my soul, send some messengers my my way to warn me. The angel of death Sayyidina Israel alayhi salam Agreed, I will send two or three messengers your way. Later, when the angel of death came to take his soul, Sayyidina Yaqub asked, Where are the messengers you were supposed to send towards me before taking my soul? The angel Sayyidina Israel replied, Grey hair after black hair, weakness after strength, and a hunched back after a straight one. O oh, Yaqub these are my messengers. I sent towards people before their death. Death. The following Arabic couplet is warning to us. Days have passed, but sins prevail. The angel of death has arrived with a hearty stale. Your worldly luxuries are a deceit, due to which you will be in pain. Your desire to live in the world forever is a thought in vain. Salu al Habib. My dear Islamic brothers, now we understand the fact that the angel of death sent these messengers before death. In addition to the three messengers already stated above, there are others that have been mentioned in other hadiths like sickness, complete loss or weakness of vision and impaired hearing. Now many of us who have already encountered the messenger of Sayyidina Israel salam, well, but what do what to do with our heedlessness? Our current state is such that we attribute grey hair to flu when in fact they are the warner of death. Similarly, in sickness we remain heedless and easily tend to forget that countless people who die every day due to similar causes. Little do we realize that the illness that seems minor could indeed turn fatal, and the, and then the dear ones will grieve and the enemies will rejoice. But the dead person will be buried in a dark grave along with only his deeds, good or bad. Salu al-Habib.
my dear, my dear son brothers, on 25th Rabb Rajab 1416 AH, a murder attempt was made on Amir al-Sunnat Mawlana Muhammad Elias Qadri in Lahore. As a result of this attempt, two Mubalikeen, Haji Uhad Raza Attari and Muhammad Sajid Attari, Rahmatullah Alayhi, were martyred. About eight months later, the grave of Haji Uhud Raza Attari was damaged due to heavy rainfalls in Lahore. Unwillingly, his grave was dug out so that his corpse could be transferred to another grave. To the astonishment of all those present, when his grave was opened, his body was fresh and unharmed in the presence of many people. The body of the martyr of Dawd the Islami was moved to a new grave. The incident has been mentioned in detail in the booklet The Marvels of Dawd Islami Part 2. I request that all Islamic brothers and Islamic sisters to embrace the right the righteous Muslim environment of Dawd Islami. There is no membership process in Dawd Islami. Make an effort to partake in your local Dawd Islami in Shuma every week and to travel with the Ashke Rasul. In Madani Kafila to learn the prophetic ways. Each and every single person should make an effort to call people towards the righteous and should strive to impart the Sunnah. Salu ala Habib. Alhamdulillah Azawajal, the Sunnah of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala is taught and learnt in the Madani environment of Dawd Islami, an international non political promulgation movement of the Quran and Sunnah. The weekly Ishma in Birmingham takes place every Thursday after Salatul Maqrib in Gamgol Sharif. It is a mother request that you participate in this Ishma and try to spend the night in Fazani Medina. Make it a habit to travel with the love of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Wasallam or the Madani Kafle and was drink Fikr in Medina to fill in your Madani in a mad car daily and hand it into your area of Zimadar within the first 10 days of the new slang month. Inshallah Azza wa Jal. With the, with the blessing of this, we will start acting upon the Sunnah of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Wasallam. Have hatred for sin and safeguard our Iman. Every Islamic brother should make the intention that I must try to rectify myself and the people of the whole world. Insha'Allah Azza wa Jal. To rectify ourselves, we will act upon the Madani in Amat. And to rectify the people of the whole world, we will travel in the Madani Gafla. Insha'Allah Azza wa Jal. Alhamdulillah Rabbi Alameen. Wa salatu wa salam ala Sayyidi Mursaleen. O oh Allah Azza wa Jal, for the sake of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, forgive us, our parents and all the Muslims. O oh Allah Azza wa Jal, forgive all our sins. Give us the passion to become practicing Muslims and make us obedient to our parents. O oh Allah Azza wa Jal, make us your sincere devotees and, and of your beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Cure us from the illness of sins. O oh Allah Azza wa Jal, give us the ability to act upon the Madni Namad. Give us the ability to travel on the Madni Kafle. Give us the ability to divide others and inspire them to act upon the Madni Namad and travel on the Madni Kafle. O oh Allah Azza wa Jal, free every Muslim from disease, debt, unemployment, wrong, wrongful court cases and every type of body. O oh Allah Azza wa Jal, bless every Muslim with the beaten children. O oh Allah Azza wa Jal, cut his death with Iman in the beautiful city of Medina al Munawwara and was lost in the visions of your beloved Prophet وسلم, make our place of burial in Jannah al Baqi and make us companions of your beloved وسلم, in Jannah al Fadus. O oh Allah, as a for the sake of the cool and faithful in Medina, accept all our lawful du'as. <laughs> Thank you.